This playthrough is rated E for everyone. The life of adventurer is hard, especially for an archaeologist as Dr. Jones. Will he use his mind to solve the mysteries of Atlantis, fight through with his fisticuffs, or go together as a team like most anime and other stories would tell you? Well, let's find out today. Greetings and salutations, viewers, while we're back here with another episode of Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. In the last episode, we got some information about the uh, uh, dialogues of Plato and found out that the Burnett College had him, so we did some digging around and were able to find them. But it looks like uh, to get further into this uh, mystery, we're going to have to decide our, our path going until we hit Atlantis. So this sets the, this, uh, this choice here that Sophia gives us, and some of the dialogue is slightly different, different depending on how you met her in the first game, whether you talked to the bouncer, fought the bouncer, or just went in through the back way. Obviously, since I chose the wits way, she, she showed, she gave me the dialogue for the wits path. However, you still have a chance to do the, the team path, which is I'd rather go in, uh, or sorry, I'd rather tackle this together with you. That, and that sets, uh, finding Atlantis, you'll work together with her. So a lot of the puzzles indicate uh, choosing Sophia and the Ann Jones to work together, kind of like when uh, you went to talk to that one guy where you'd switch to Sophia, this is the same situation. If you'd rather use the fight actions in these games to uh, pretty much browbeat everyone into the solutions, you'd rather uh, then you could go into action. Or if you want to go through this in a more mental attitude, wits, and more, puzz uh, more straight up puzzles, then you go the wits action. For today, I will play all the paths because there is a certain section of paths that are separate, but then when you get to Atlantis, it changes to uh, uh, something else, but it kind of they all converge into one point. So yes, let's take the wits uh, path for this. You're right, I better think this through alone. You're right, I better think this through alone. I understand. Stay in touch. Take care of yourself, and don't talk to any strange Nazis. So long, Indy. All right, so now Sophia will stay in New York and we can't go back and meet her at a, any time if we want to to chat. However, you want to go on with the plot, let's head to Monte Carlo. That is our next destination. You could go to Algiers, but without going to Monte Carlo, uh, there's no point. So we're trying to find a man named Elaine uh, Tatier. So the, there's actually only one person. So what happens is everyone's going to uh, walk around this map and it's random people. You can actually ease them where Trottier is, but Trottier is this gentleman right here. So if you talk to him, that's it. You don't have to talk to anyone else, but let's see what everyone else has to say just for fun. Excuse me. Can you tell me where to find Monsieur Trottier? Sorry, no, but he always wears a flower in his lapel. Yeah, see, that, that's how you can tell it's him because of that, but let's see what someone else says. Excuse me. Can you tell me where to find Monsieur Trottier? Sorry, no. No. Well, some people don't have anything to say. Excuse me. Can you tell me what Monsieur Trottier looks like? Sorry, I don't know him. Okay, well, I'll ask uh, one more individual, see if we get any uh, Excuse different me. dialogue. But... Can you tell me where to find Monsieur Trottier? No, désolé. Ah, okay. Well, anyway, if you uh, go to the taxi, you can go to the airport, by the way. And then if you go to the city streets... Nothing interesting over here. Yeah. Okay, well, anyway. So, yeah, let's wait for that one guy to appear so we can uh, talk to him, so... We well, are supposed to get different descriptions on him. Just a moment, please. Because one person says he's, like, older and stuff like that, but it's not a big deal. I just uh, thought that's how you're supposed to know to click on this guy specifically, other than just randomly going over it anyway. So, anyway, let's ask him uh, where to find him. Can you tell me where to find Monsieur Trottier? Uh, possibly. Who wants to know? Now, if you talk to this guy, don't be, don't be like, a mean or a jerk to him, because then he'll just ignore you for a while, and you'll have to leave and come back, so it's just annoying. So, uh... I'm Dr. Indiana Jones of Barnett College. Jones, 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 I believe I've heard of you. Yes, of course, the famous archaeologist. Actually, I'm just a simple professor. Oh, leave the modesty to me, sir, Alain Trottier. Amateur scholar, part-time poet, professional dreamer. Like most French people, am I right? Anyway, what can you tell me about Atlantis? What can you tell me about Atlantis? 
Oh, that depends. To prove you're worth dealing with, answer me this. What was a Plato's great error? Okay, so this question he asks you is random. Every time you talk to him, if you fail, uh, he will, like, say, well, you're guessing and come back later. And there's actually a way to just talk to him again. I'll show you in a second. But one of the easiest ways to do this, if you don't want to read the play, uh, Plato's uh, lost dialogue over and over again, just save it, at least on this version I'm playing. So you can just make a save and then just keep choosing all the answers till you get it right. So whichever one it is, so. An error of grammar. Oh, no, 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 you're just guessing. Uh, bonsoir, monsieur. Feel free to look me up whenever you're in town. And now, au revoir. Okay, but if that happens... Monsieur Trottier? Yeah, you can just click on him again and... Back again, Dr. Jones. <laughs> what now? The whole idea is to wait for him to pop up again, but if you get it right, you can just click on him again, like, right after the fact. So you can just keep asking what can you tell me you about get it right if you mess up on the save part, for example. Oh, that depends. To prove you're worth dealing with... Answer me this. Of what material did the Atlantean carve devices to search for oricalcum? All right. Well, we could uh, we could we could uh, know the answer, or we could just guess the whole time. Amber. Yes, excellent. Obviously, you know Plato's lost dialogue well. Personally, I doubt I can help you, but my name is recognized among dealers in antiquity. Maybe my business card will be of some use to you. Feel free to look me up whenever you're in town. And now, au revoir. Okay, so that's all we need from Mr. Trottier. Let's take a look at his business card. It says, A. Trottier, Truly Old Antiques. Ah, okay. Well, we need this to get to our next destination. So, let's head on to... Driver, to the airport. Let's head on to Algiers and see what we can find there. A nice, uh, nice little, uh, Egyptian city, or, I guess, yeah, but anyway, let's check a look around. It says, aerial views, one flight up. Hmm. could go to the roof. I mean, I know where I need to look, but I'm messing around, so. Let's take a look at this place, see what's going on here. It says balloon ride closed for repairs. Hmm. Let's come back here later, maybe. I don't know, just something about a balloon or whatever. All right, so we know what that is. So yeah, I'll kind of take a look around, see what's going on, see if uh, um, you know what's what. Oops, don't want to go back there yet, because that'll take us back to the airport. Hello there. Ah, a prosperous American. Yeah, that sounds about right. You ever hear of Atlantis, old man? Atlantis? Hmm, Atlantis. Hmm. No. Didn't think some random guy on the street would know that, but you never know. Do you know where Omar Al-Jabbar lives? Omar is one of my best customers. Alas, his address is known to few men. Hmm, and you don't know, huh, even though he's your best customer. What are you doing here on the streets? I'm a beggar, Effendi. It is my job to be here. Now, let me get back to work, please. Being a joke, being a beggar. Well, uh, I, I, depending on where you are in the world, that could be very lucrative, depending on the on the people that live there. And some people take advantage of that. So, Although it's it's more common, well, even though in my country it happens quite a bit, but it's more common to see that and not get scoffed upon, like in places like uh, certain places in the Middle East and India and stuff like that. But I'm not aware of all the details because I don't actually live there. I just know it's a bit more acceptable to a point. I don't want to disturb them. They look kind of busy. Well, they may they might uh do they might do something to me if I'm too rude. They look busy. No, oh, you don't say. He looks pretty well fed for a beggar. Yeah, like I said, some people uh some people do uh have a better job of being a beggar than even the whole point of being a beggar is to beg for stuff and hopefully people are nice to you, so. Yeah, I like the little detail of everyone. Kind of walking around and everything like that, so... Yeah, back alley, huh? That's not going to cause me any danger, but let's do it. Do-do-do-do-do. And, ooh, oh, hmm. Artifacts, huh? Souvenirs, artifacts, pots, urns. Little pots. 
pots. Oops. Little pots. Oh, it just says the same thing on pots and urns, so. Alright, let's see what else can we can interact with. It all looks pretty worthless. Yeah, that sounds about right. Especially when it's called antiquities. It says drink Elliot's rose water in Arabic. Hey, you know Arabic, huh? Big pots. Is that a pot? Really? Is it just for me? There's nothing to look at. You can't look at the uh, look at the store. There's key. nothing to look at. Okay. Yeah, sometimes the the mechanics of this are weird. I don't need them. They're just small pots. You you don't want a big pot? I don't need them. They're just big pots. I think you could. I think you could take them. You're an adventurer, right? I don't need any more worthless junk. Yeah, the Ark of the Covenant's pretty worthless when you think about it. All it does is just melt people's faces, you know. Excuse me. How can I help you with Indy? <laughs> Are you looking for Atlantis? I'm looking for Atlantis. Good luck. Yeah. Uh, yeah, how much are these pots? How much are those pots? If you must ask, you can't afford them. Uh, yeah, in a lot of countries, I mean, outside of, like, America, where I live, a lot of places uh, use, well, this is based on the 1930s, but a lot of places still use the barter system, so you just say, I will give you this much for a pot, and then you start going from there. Uh, but uh, I doubt your stuff is worth... You're not like a rich clientele type of place, so... Nice place you have here. Thank you, Effendi. Anyway, let's uh, ask him about Omar, because this guy actually knows where he's at. Excuse me. What is it now? Actually, can so we... Long. Hold on. Goodbye, Effendi. I was just saying we can... I don't think that'll now. work. Nah, well, let me use on him. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Okay, never mind. Let's just talk to him. Excuse me. What is it now? Are you Omar? You mean Mr. Aljabar? <laughs> that is an also good one, Effendi. I'm his trusted servant, Paul. Paul Abdul. Thanks for the information. Okay. Can you give me a, a, a meeting with him? Excuse me. What is it now? Can you arrange a meeting with Mr. Aljabar? I suppose I could, Effendi, but my master rarely deals with clients in person. Why should I bother him? Because I'm awesome? I've got a hot tip on some stolen artifacts. So do half the people in Algier. You'll have to give me a better reason than that. Hmm. Excuse me. What is it now? I mean, we have a way to convince him. It's just... I'd like to see Al Jabbar now. As I explained, you need to give me a reason to trouble my master. Makes sense. Okay, we can't give him any other options. Well, what we need to do is we need to hand him the business card. So, so let's uh, give the business card to uh, Paul Abdul. Excuse me. Yes. I think this may interest you. Ah, the business card, Monsieur Trottier. That's different. Perhaps Mr. Aljabar will desire to speak with you. Wait here until I get back. Okay, so what happens is Paul Abdul is going to run off to find his master. There's two ways to find him. Um, the hardest is just trying to follow him and get there, but that's... Uh, unless you know exactly where to mo move and where to go, that's kind of hard to do, even when you know generally where to go. So I'm going to do the easiest route first on how to find him. So let's follow him first as soon as he leaves. Okay, so what we want to do is, yeah, follow him to the city streets and then I want you to uh, pay attention to something on the city streets when we get there. Okay, let's follow this uh, red mark right here. This man in the red fez. So as soon as he goes the market we want to uh okay i think i have to hit him when he hits here so Oops. there he is okay so as soon as he hits that way we want to talk we want to get this man's do, fed do, do. Be because he's uh, visible on the world map there so uh by getting his fez we can actually follow the server because Following the servant's kind of hard to do because there's no indicator, obvious indicator of where to go. But this man will help us. Uh, 
but we need to talk to him very specifically. Otherwise, he won't give me the Cephas. Looks like he's dancing. Dancing all around. Crazy dance, man. Uh, that's a cool Fez, though. I wouldn't mind having a Fez. Those are cool. I mean, I prefer a... Uh, uh, tro not trollops one I'm trying to think of a uh, you know scoon coonskin caps and stuff like that uh trilbies and all that but uh, even though I don't wear hats normally but anyway you there hmm you seem like a dapper fellow can I <laughs> I need your shoot your boot and your coat or however it goes so but anyway uh but yeah we could ask him all these questions but I want to get the fez from him so nice fez why thank you are you here for the festival uh, what festival? Festival? What festival? Why, the festival of life, of course. No, uh, I mean, that'd be cool, I guess, but I just really like your hat. No, but that's quite a hat. Do you like it? <laughs> well, I mean, if someone was to, if I would pay for it for a nominal price, I would, but uh, it's garish. <laughs> no. That's better than a sharp stick in the eye. Oh my, yes. Why does it attract you? Why does it attract me? Well, there was a there's a fez I used to know long, long ago. She left me at the altar. No, uh, it's festive. It's kind of festive. Aha, you observe closely, my friend. With a fez, one becomes truly festive. Undoubtedly, you feel envy, no? Festive? Ugh. Uh, uh with, with the puns, come on. I am a little frustrated. I am a little frustrated. I can see that. You torture yourself trying to attain the unattainable. Here, take my fez and join in the festivities. Oh, are you sure you don't need it? I mean... It's yours, don't you need it? Not anymore. The very act of giving it to you has lifted me to a higher state of festivity. <laughs> Say thanks a lot. Someday you'll understand. He's such a nice guy. Uh, he's basically telling us how to solve the, the puzzle, you know, with uh, with uh, Paul Abdul. So we need to wait to see if he gets back or not. So, oh, you know what? Before, well, let's go in there anyway. Okay, so he's not back yet. Let's see if we can uh, go out to the city limits and wait for him to return. Also, I forgot one function of the game that I kept forgetting to show off. Uh, the IQ system here. So. What this is, is if you press I on your keyboard, you can put, put out your IQ points and it tells you what path you're on, what current points you have in your total. Your total is what you've earned over the course of multiple different playthroughs. So this actually gives you a reason to play through the game multiple times to see how many points you get. You'll never get all points on one path. Like the wits path only has so many points. So, um, so if you want to get every single point, you have to go through the game as the fight build, uh, wits build and team build and even then there's multiple ways to solve every single puzzle in the game It's pretty crazy how many different variations. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to show every single one But I'll try to mention some if I if I think about it at the time or remember Kind of like you can actually get if you find the servant without uh, the help of the fez that actually is another set of uh, uh, Wits points that or sorry IQ points that you can get so just to keep that in mind so but yeah, that's a cool little feature of the game. You can actually look up your point. Well, actually, some games at the time will let you find uh, look up your points. So okay, let me see if I let me go and leave, uh, go outside the city limits and see if we can wait for him to return. And I can show you the city limits as uh, in general there. So there's us. Yeah, we'll always be seen on this map. Otherwise, it'd be a little insane. So yeah, there's a that was like the Taj Mahal or something like that. Even though that's not in Algiers. Yeah, I like the little just detail about all these little pixelated people just walking around, just doing their thing, you know, seeing what's going on. Yeah, you can look at the market. Yeah, unless you follow the man specifically through the town. Um, like I said, I'm I'm trying to remember how you actually find it without the fez, like, naturally. It's been forever since I've done that, so. But yeah, as you can see, there's no really way to... Uh, like interact with anything else so let's see if he's back yet let's go back to the back alley and see if mr algiers has uh reappeared i mean it's taking a while well we can look around hey is that a black falcon right there, there? you are mr aljabar says that he's sorry but he can't see you now yeah oh, okay well that's annoying it all looks pretty worthless 
Yeah, that looks like a Maltese Falcon there. For anyone who knows what that is. Excuse me. What is it now? How's business? These pots are far too short for someone of your stature, Effendi. Huh? Okay, so that's a clue for for something earlier, so keep that in mind. So, but anyway, let's uh, talk to him again. Excuse me. What is it now? Is there a festival around here somewhere? Well, if there is, you can't prove it by me. Oh, sorry to hear that, so. So long. Goodbye, Effendi. But anyway, let's give him that, uh, Fez. Excuse me. Yes? I think this may interest you. Why would I want a Fez? Okay, so, uh, so the answer you want to give him is whatever he said earlier or response to whatever. So he says something about being short. Well, apparently this version of the game, or this variation of him, he, he has a, like, maybe a Napoleonic complex or something like that. So, uh, in this case, we want to say it makes you look taller. It'll make you look taller. Really? I could be taller? A veritable giant among men. Let me see that face. Why, I'm taller than you. You're quite a bit taller. Thank you for making my life complete, Effendi. My pleasure. But anyway, that sets up uh, him to be noticed on the map. So now, let's talk to him again. Excuse me. What is it now? Could you go see Mr. Aljabar again? Well, you do know, Trottier. Perhaps I didn't explain things very well to my master. Wait here until I get back. Nah, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna follow you. Ho ho! Let us go. Go, my friend, go. Alright, there he is. So uh, we just have to highlight the servant until he disappears. Or, well, you don't have to highlight the servant, it's just. We just have to uh, kind of follow his. Uh, where he's going. Yeah, he's going around just to lose track of you. Even though, I'm not, you know, how are we supposed to actually like follow him on the map and, and or uh, how is how are we supposed to know that, that he's here on the map, you know, like this? That's a little weird, but okay. Yeah, he's, he's really going around in multiple directions, huh? It's not a, it's not, I guess we could follow after him, I guess, so. Where are you going, buddy? Come on, settle down now. Settle down now, yeah? Oh! Oh! You thought you disappeared on me. You can't get away. I'm following you. Man, you were, you were really going all over the place, aren't you? Are you gonna go to your master's house yet or not? <laughs> Jeez, I forgot it took him so long to get there. Hey, where'd he go? Oh, uh, he's supposed to... Okay, huh. I guess I must have messed up because you're supposed to basically just follow him and then, uh, then you... Then when he goes into the building, you just enter inside the building. So, huh, okay. Well, never mind then. I will go back to the market and wait for him to return. Huh, that's weird. Okay, I guess I messed up on that. So, my apologies. Because, yeah, you're supposed to... Okay. What do we... Oh, there he is. He popped back up again, so... All right. Okay, we'll just do it again. I guess I just Excuse wasn't close, me. close enough to him or something what like that. Now? Could you go see Mr. Yeah, Algebra that, again? Folks. Well, you do know, Trottier. Perhaps I didn't explain things very well to my master. Wait here until I get back. All right, we'll, we'll stick on your butt this time. Because I think, uh, I could swore you could just kind of, uh, hold off on following, or you could follow him, but, uh, 
but you could back off a little bit, so. Okay, he was back in the streets over here. All right, let's follow. Follow the servant. Follow the leader, the leader, the leader. We're following the leader wherever we may go. Ta tum, ti ti, ta ti dee tum, ti tum, ti ti, ti ti, ti ti dee ti dee do, do do, ti ti, ta ti dee tum, ta tum, ta tum, ta tum, ta tum, ta tum, ta tum. With how uh, with how uh, full these cities are, it would be really easy to lose someone in a place like this. Especially since everyone wears the same type of clothes. So, you know, the only people you'd stand up were people that were pretty, pretty garish and overall, you know, like tourists or someone that people from not from the area. I'm following you, my friend. You cannot, you cannot avoid me. And making sure he doesn't pop up into a building again. So without me being there. The servant's ducking into that house. There we go. Finally. Okay. Yeah, I just wasn't close enough. I was close enough, but then he ducked in the house by the time I got there, so I'm like, oh. Anyway. I don't care who he knows. I don't want to see him, understand? Yes, sir. Aha. Uh -huh. Dr. Jones, I suppose. What an unpleasant surprise. Shall I remove this peasant, master? That won't be necessary, Paul. Now be a good lad and alert the police while I entertain our guest. But we'll talk about your punishment later. <laughs> well, well, well. I had no idea the famous Indiana Jones was such a fool, traveling so far and risking so much in pursuit of a mere myth. It's no myth, as you well know. No, let's talk it over. My house is your house until the gendarmes arrive. Uh oh. Well, let's uh, take a look around. Let's take a, let's make a save though for his house, so that way. You know, just in case we take too long, because I want to check some things out before. Now, there's a we. I know immediately what you have to do to leave, but let's see if there's anything I can interact with before we do the obvious stuff. Oh, there's a camel over there. Stop! Leave my things alone. I'm just taking a look at it. This animal's seen a lot of miles. I wonder what the mileage is on a camel. Stop! Leave my things alone. All right. Oops. Wrong button. Sorry. Stop! Leave those kids alone. Stop! Leave my things alone. I was just looking at it. You can't just look at it. Stop! Oh, leave right. my things alone. Ooh, Blackbird statue. That looks familiar. Stop! Leave my things alone. I got a statue there. Stop! Leave my things okay, alone. Okay, fine. You can't really, can't really interact with anything. I thought you could. Mr. Jabbar. Yes. Can you help me find Atlantis? <laughs> I might as well help you find the moon. You ever meet someone named Klaus Kerner? I don't discuss my associates with anyone, Doctor. Least of all, you. Fair enough. Don't you think you're in over your head? My friends and I, we help each other. So watch yourself. Well then. Nice house you have here. And nicer the sooner you leave it. Okay. Well, anyway, to get rid of uh, Omar, or distract him, we need to walk into the closet over here. Stop! Leave my things alone. Okay. So we need to go to the closet door. It's a sliding door with a latch. So we need to use it. I don't think that'll work. No. Maybe uh, pull it. I can't move it. Push it. Oh wait. Open. Oh, uh, close it. You can't do this. All right. May you die without water, Jones. Oof. But anyway, now we can take his stuff if we want to. So let's see. Let's grab a few things May before we go. May the sun addle your brains and cook your flesh. Okay. I want to take this blackbird statue. It's the stuff dreams are made of. May the scent cover you without a trace. Now that reference he made is a reference to the Maltese Falcon. Like that exact line is what it is. That's what Humphrey Bogart says. Uh... I think it's near the end of the film, actually. So you should watch it. It's a good, it's a good, good story and a good movie. But may scorpions pluck out your eyeballs. Okay, so let's take, let's look at this statue. May it's a cheap soapstone carving. Let's take that as well. All right. 
May Let's scorpions pluck out your eyeballs. Let's take it as close, too. I can't reach it. Ah. Oh. Don't want to take May it. May the sun addle your right, brain and cook stick, your huh? flesh. That's here. It's just a piece of bamboo. Right, the bamboo. Torture me, kill me. I'll never tell you anything about Atlantis. Oh, the stick broke, but I got the map. That map won't do you any good. There are no names on it. All right, I think that's all we can take. I can't reach it. Yeah, okay, May so... You die without all right, water, so we've George. got everything we need to do, so... At least I believe so. Let me make sure really quick. I think that's all we can take. So, the only reason you want to take the statue of the Blackbird is not for anything other than what's about to come up. Trap me. Torture me. Map or no map, you'll never find the dig site. Uh, put a sock in it. But anyway, we need to make our way out of the city, and now that the uh, Legion is after us, we need to find our way through the city. Or, through the sands. Will we be able to make it through the sands? Will a hopeful nomads find us along the way? What is lost within the sands? And is wa water nectar of the gods? Find out next time in the next episode of Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.